Oh, don't look at that mess. I have a, my house is a mess right now, guys. Don't come for me. There, I think that's better lighting. Oh, I can't wait till I get all this cut off. Wow, that's a trip. Hey y'all, it's Destiny. And a couple days before Liv got the children, she decided to squeeze herself into a size 10 jeans on live. Now I will say she did get them on, but she also said they were stretchy. And it was really crazy because it was so silent. It was very weird. But she said the kids were asleep. I don't know how she's making those children sleep so much lately, but it's kind of concerning. So if you're ready to get into this live stream, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you are new, and don't forget to hit that post notification bell so you are notified every single time I post. Hi love, blessings to your children. I, I pray you're having a good day. Yes, I am, baby. Hi. Mm -hmm. I'm having a really good day. Like I said, I went shopping today and I got some jeans. I'm obsessed with getting jeans. Now that I can fit small jeans, <laughs> or not small jeans, but I got a size 10. I have some size 10s, but I got another pair of size 10s. Um, I'm trying to... The babies are sleeping. But like, I'm at like a stall. I'm like stalled out with my weight loss. So I'm going back to fasting, um, which I'm gonna do one meal a day and fast the rest of the time. Like I already ate today. So that's it. I had a chicken wrap and I actually had some french fries too, y'all. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie because you had some french fries. But that's not good. But you know what? That's okay. That's all I'm gonna eat today. Okay, so Liv said she went shopping today. Okay. This is my thing. You went shopping, right? For yourself, apparently. What about your children? You have five children. What did you buy for them? Did you pay any of the child support so the children could get some of that money and do something with it? How long is Liv not going to see a problem with buying whatever she wants for herself and not supporting her children financially? And I don't even ever crave french fries. I never even eat french fries, but they were there. We were out eating. I ate my french fries. Um, but that's it. I ate my meal. I'm going to make my collagen coffee here in a minute because I am going to edit once I get off this live. So I'm just gonna sip on my coffee for the rest of the day and that's it. Size 10, great accomplishment. That's something to be proud about. I am very proud of Crystal. I really am. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I was talking to my sister today and we were talking about like what we wanna do. I think I'm doing OMAD as well. If you do it, I'll do it with you. Yeah, Stephanie, do it with me, babe. I'm doing it, like today's the first day. I don't care how hungry I get. I'm doing that. Like I need to break the stall. Like, I'm definitely, like, stuck at, like, 2.30. Like, I'm stuck. <laughs> it's not moving. It's not going up, which is a good thing, but it's not going down. But then again, I also haven't been working out. Like I said, I'm going to. And another thing, Liz said she already had size 10 jeans, but bought another pair of size 10 jeans. Why would she need to do that? You keep buying yourself clothes, but on Ryan's birthday, you had Robin wearing a shirt that you got for her many years ago. And I guess now Liv is claiming that she talks to her sister now. Since a lot of people are saying that her sister doesn't like her and wants nothing to do with her, now all of a sudden her and her sister are talking so much. Has your sister met Kailani and spent some time with her yet? Um, it's, my life is so unpredictable with the babies. I do that. I'm not eat. I just don't want him like on me. You know what I mean? Like, don't touch me. Type shit. But maybe I'll ask them. I'm gonna just do it myself. I don't know. I'll figure it out. A workout bike, especially this one, is like all like complex. Oh my god, you guys, it's so pretty. I can't wait to show you guys this because I think this company is gonna give me a coupon code. It's like a Peloton, but better. Oh my god, I always want to be a cycling girl. So I'm gonna really like. And you and that cycling, you lose the most, like you burn the most calories cycling. More than jogging, more than anything. Cycling is number one. So that's exciting. I'm gonna try to do it every day. <sighs> every day, we're gonna try. But I was talking to my sister today and I was like, 
I'm trying to like talk to her about like future stuff that's gonna be happening. I can't. Now before we get into the sister conversation, I just want to stop it here because Liv wants us to believe that a company sent her a bike. And I guess she's getting a coupon code for it. I just find it interesting that she goes shopping for herself. All of a sudden she gets an exercise bike, but she doesn't want us to think that she bought that. One thing Liv is going to do is use her money on what she wants and then say that Gerard and the children don't deserve child support. Talk about right now, but you guys will know soon. And I'm like, I don't know how much more weight I want to lose. Cause like at 230, like I'm cool with my weight right now. But then again, I want to lose more. I'm just scared to lose too much weight because... Okay, I'll just take this. I'm going to be getting procedures done. We've already talked about that. But it's like the more weight I lose, I'm going to have to get more procedures done. You know? So I feel like... I don't know. Like, I don't want to get, this is my arms right now, okay? I already have, like, some loose, jiggly skin right here. But it's not, like, horrible. I've seen some, I've seen some bad, some bad things. But I don't want to get an arm lift. Like, I don't want to get an arm lift. I don't want to get a leg lift. I don't want to do none of that. I want to get the few things that I want. And I don't want to have to get a whole bunch of other shit. So I guess Liv is saying that she doesn't want to lose too much weight because her skin is starting to sag already. The fact that she was over 300 pounds and is now a lot smaller, what was she thinking? She wasn't going to have sagging skin, loose skin? And I'm just trying to figure out who is paying for this surgery that she wants to get. I know she said baby daddy in New York is paying for all of this, but he can't even pay for a plane ticket to come meet his children or child, I guess. So what makes you think he's paying for you to get work done? And I still want to be, I still want to be a, not a big girl. I mean, a big girl, I'm always going to be a big girl. I feel like I'm big boned, whatever you want to call it. Like, I'm just big bodied. So it's like, whatever. But I want to be like, let me see, let me see if I can get an inspo girl. I feel like disgusting. Yeah, it is pretty gross. I agree. But if I lose more weight, this is going to be even saggier. You feel it? Like, I can still probably tone my legs. I can still tone my arms. I don't wanna get, like, extra surgeries. I don't know, let me see. Good afternoon, baby. I think 30, 30 more, and you're good. 30 more, 30 more pounds. You should get a kettlebell. I do, I do have a kettlebell. Yeah, lift and tone, that'll be good. Yeah, but yeah, I understand what you're saying, but I would, I think Liv said she's about 230 something. We haven't seen her actually step on the scale and look at the numbers while she's standing on it. But I guess her supporters want her to be, what, around 200 pounds? So, I was so big. Push for 200. I'm going, yeah, I'm, I'm going to push. We don't, we don't think. I'm going to push for 220. 220 is my goal. Um, by this month, I'm going to lose this 10 pounds. October, I want to lose these 10 pounds. Um, I just got some good news, so I'll be able to get to where I want with my weight, for sure, for sure. I mean, either way, I was going to get to my weight, for sure, for sure, but yeah. But I feel like 10 pounds this month, 10 pounds November, 10 pounds December. So by January, I'll be there. You inspire me. I also don't want to lose it too fast because I'm scared. I work at a plastic surgeon's office. Don't do your arms. I have seen the scars, Karen. Yeah, I've seen them. They go from like here. Yeah. I mean, but that's with anything. Like, I'm gonna get a tummy tuck. Like, my scar's gonna be, you know what I mean? But I Liv is getting all of this surgery, and in my mind, it's for Gerard. It's for her to show Gerard that she can lose weight. She's trying to look as good as she can to show him. Y'all see how she always gets so dressed up just to go pick up the children? Everything she does is because of her ex-husband. How sad is that? I get what you're saying. Yeah, those scars are crazy. But I just don't want to have to do all of that. Like, I swear to God. Like, do it, girl. Wouldn't that be cute if we went and got surgery together? Oh my God, that'd be so cute. We would have so much fun. I'm going to convince her. I'm going to say, look, Raquel. We're doing this. But yeah, I was talking to her, and she doesn't have much of any loose skin. It's because she wasn't as big as me. So it's like, yo, I was really big. I was a big, big. So like, I was big, big, okay? 
I will beat this back, okay? <laughs> so it's like, I lost a lot of weight. After I lose um, the next 30, if I do lose that much more, it's 100 pounds. That's gonna be 100 pounds, that's crazy. So Liv claims that Raquel is also on the same medication as her and she's also losing weight. Liv is trying to convince her to get surgery just like she wants to. And that's why she said she wants to get surgery together with her sister. That would be so fun. And also Liv said she is going to put the bike together, but then she also mentioned in the live that she might just get the guy she was talking to recently to do it, even though she blocked him and doesn't want anything to do with him. She did say that maybe she can contact him to put it together. You're cute just the way you are. Well, I appreciate it, guys. I do. I do appreciate that. What prison unit were you on? I was on uh, D Block. You know, where they got the D. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Why are you trying to say that? You're trying to be funny because I have a base tattoo? I think it's cute, but I think I'm going to remove it. I think the base tat's gonna come off next year too, guys. Not this one, this one. Cause if I leave this, I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get one here, I might get one here. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna have too much fun, so I just need to stop. So I'm just gonna, just take it off, just take it off. It's so cute because this, this chick I watch on uh, TikTok, she has her daughter's name right here. She has her son's name right here. I forgot what she has her other baby's name, but that's so cute. I'm gonna get all my baby. Well, I do have all my baby things right here, but I don't have. This tattoo always trips me out. How I have two extra butterflies and I have my two extra babies. Did she just say two extra kids, two extra babies? So even Liv thinks of her children in sets. She has the three children, right? And then she has the two extras. I'll need lots of help after. Yeah, Karen, I'm gonna stay in a recovery house, baby. What, what is worrying me is the flight home. Like, but supposedly, like the doctor, they give they give you a letter, and you can you can like stand in the plane. Get Tristan tatted next. His name is Christian, and I was I was gonna get Christian right here, like between these two bones. But I don't, I'm not gonna do that. I already have Christian on right here. I'm gonna get this tattoo redone. Ugh, so horrible. It's been so cute too. I'm gonna that. You have the link to it. Yes, yes, Lord. The best decision I ever made, you know? And people talk a lot of bad things about the shots. They're so good. They're so good. You guys, I have no side effects. I have, there's nothing crazy going on. It's not, I feel like the people who talk bad about this stuff, it's because it's making so many people healthy. Now, I don't know if the shots are good or bad for people. All I heard was people that take it are diabetic. But with most things that people take, there's always side effects. It might not be right now, but usually it comes. I've been on this shit since March. If something's gonna go wrong, I think something would've been going wrong already. Like, you know what I mean? It just gets better and better. You know, that's what me and my sister, my sister's on it too. And her and I were talking and we have so much more energy. We're like, oh, it's so good. But yes, Lori, the link is on my Instagram. And my viewers get a special price. And these prices are good for the trizepatide. Get on trizepatide. You can try some glutide if you've never tried it, but the trizepatide works better for weight loss. Okay, minimal side effects. For me, I have no side effects. I did when I first started, which was I had a headache one day and I had nausea one day. That was it. And I think my headache was due to my blood sugar dropping because I wasn't eating expect that when you're on when, um, when you're on a GLP-1 you're gonna have to force yourself to eat because you don't want to eat for those wondering yes Liv said she's working with Life RX. I don't know if she really is I don't know if she's really buying the shots and saying that she's working with them but that's what she said do you have to stay on the shots after reaching your goal no mm -mm. I can't seem to lose weight. Yeah, Denise, I know, it's hard. You don't have to stay on it, and you're not gonna gain your weight back. People are like, you're gonna gain your weight back like this. No, you're not. Like, it would literally take you to sit there day after day and eat and eat and eat. You know, like, we're grown. We, we know better. So, um, no, you don't have to stay on it, but a lot of women do. It's called the maintenance dose, and they just stay on it, and it just helps them, you know? 
is there side effects? Little to none. No, I had side effects when I first started. And like I said, I had a headache one day and then I had um, nausea. That's all I remember. And those were like two separate days. And that was it. Nothing crazy. My doctor would feel oh, like that. No, I don't think you have to stay on them forever, Denise. It's totally up to you, but I feel like once you start them, you're going to want to stay on them. So Liv said once you start them, you're going to want to stay on them, and maybe that's true. But if you stay on it, will you keep losing weight even if you don't need to lose weight? How does that work? Because for the simple fact, it's like... It's... Uh, I don't know. It's like... For me, at least, I like feeling not hungry. I like not thinking about food. And I was off the chart. When I switched doctors, like I was working with the other doctor first and now I started working with my friends. I was off of it for like two to three weeks and I didn't go crazy. Like I wasn't like, oh my God, I gotta eat. Like it was nothing like that. It was just, I was more hungry of course, but I didn't make bad decisions because I worked too hard. The hell, I'm not into that type of food anyway. Like today we went out to eat and I took the babies out and we were eating and I got AJ his little regular stuff that I get him and I could eat anything I want like I have the choice and it's like I just choose to eat better now and it's not the shot that's making me no one's standing there making me choose better I'm choosing better because I want to eat better it is lying she's the one that told us ever since she's been hanging out with this man I don't know if it's the same man from the gym a different man a third man I don't know but since she's been hanging out with these different men she said she's been drinking more no, you guys, I haven't lost any more weight. I haven't. Honestly, y'all, look, here's the thing. I've been going on my little dates, and I've been having a couple drinks, and I've been eating out. With... But maybe it is the shot, too, you know? I feel like the shot got me in this routine, for sure, because it makes you, it does. Like, when I first started, it did make me crave, like, the healthier things. I wasn't craving... When I was hungry, I wasn't craving greasy, fattening food. I was craving protein and fruits and vegetables. And it was just, it makes you crave different types of food. So maybe it is the shot, but I like that too. <laughs> and we're gonna see. And I have to start working out. So if I get my bike tomorrow, which hopefully I will, since Thursday, tomorrow's Thursday, right? I'm gonna put that thing ready. I'm gonna put it together. Cause I'm like, I'm not sick of the treadmill. I love my treadmill. I love walking. And even when I get my bike, I'm still gonna walk. But like, I just wanna use my bike so bad. <laughs> But I'm gonna walk tonight. Only eat protein and veggies. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. It's so important. It's so important. But while you're still a young, sexy, young thing, you guys need to use it before you lose it, honey. These are our last good years. I swear I was just lecturing my sister about this. Liv just keeps bringing up her sister. Is she really talking to her sister? Or is she lying? Like I told her, I was like, you don't wanna get your boots done? You don't want to get a little nip tech, a little something. You know, she's all scared. I understand you're scared, but these are your last good years, okay? You're never going to be as young as you are right now, again. So, girl, get that boob job. Get that tummy tuck. Get that facelift. <laughs> no, facelifts are scary. I heard they cut, like, all right here. Oh, girl, that's scary. But whatever. Do your big one. Like, oh, God. I'm so, like... I just think we all deserve to be like, like sexy, like sexy, just, what's the right word? I don't want to say baddies, but I don't know, just our fullest potential, you know? Because most of us had some kids young, you know, girl. So Liv thinks being at your full potential is just what you look like? Raquel is married, she has children, she's been with the same guy for all this time. I haven't heard about her getting pregnant by other men. I'm pretty sure she doesn't need any advice from Liv. So in this next clip, Liv is outside of the screen because she's getting the pants, the jeans, the size 10s, and she's going to show us, and then she's going to put them on. Okay, y'all see that, right? Okay, this is 10. Okay, y'all. I have to surgically remove the gut. Look! Oh my god. I need more lighting. Oh, don't look like this. 
I don't know. My fucking house is one mess right now, guys. Don't come for me. Damn, that's better lady. I can't believe it's like an old cut. Wow. That's a trip. That's a trip. That's so crazy. You guys, I came, I was like a size 18 at my biggest. The 18s were tight. They were getting tight, baby. So I'll say like 18, 20. So Liv going from a size 20 jean to a size 10 is a very big accomplishment, but why do those jeans look like leggings? And do y'all remember how Liv said that the neighbors were dirty and that's why she has all this trash and roaches and all types of stuff everywhere? Well Liv, you're the one that's messy and dirty, just like you said. Why is your apartment so messy? I'll say 20, bitch. I, I, I got up to like a 20 girl. That's, wow, that's 10 sizes. That's a trip. So Liv did another live stream before she went and got the children. And it's pretty much the same as always, you know, AJ not wanting to eat and then she's eating his food and her food. And it looks like she has the same jeans on that she tried on. But y'all gotta let me know what you think of this outfit. They're hating because I'm a Trump supporter. Oh girl. Everybody should respect each other, you know? When I meet Kamala Harris supporters, I don't I don't talk shit. I mean, I ask them why they're voting for her, but other than that, like, I don't have any hate or nothing. People just need to stop, okay? Like, understand that even though we might have political views are different or whatever else is different, we are still, you know, the United States of America. So it's like, and I think that whether you're voting for Trump or Kamala, I think that we all want better and we all just want better for our country. So it doesn't really matter, like, let people be who they are. Let people vote for who they want. Let people talk about it. Let people... What happened to that, bro? Like, ugh, freedom of speech, bro. Liv is lying, once again. Freedom of speech, but every time somebody says something negative about Trump, she gets mad. She tears them down. She talks bad about them. She says they're stupid, they're idiots. She does not believe in freedom of speech, especially when it comes to her Trump. Is Monday, so I hope everybody gets out and registers to vote. If you're not yet registered, I think you can do it online too. But I'm gonna go into the office and do it. Um, let me see what else. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope... Okay, I'm not done. He's like, I'm here, but I hope you guys have a great weekend. Honestly, truly, I, w I wish you guys the best. Be safe, okay? Because it's dangerous out there. People are losing their minds, okay? And um. I'll see you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna go live tomorrow. I don't know, maybe. If I don't, then I'll see you guys on Monday. Okay? All right, guys. Remember, it's always be the best version. So this is the outfit that I believe she is going to pick up the children in. She did say that she might not be going live. Now in this next clip, I just want to go down memory lane because Liv really sat in a car and tried to gaslight everybody into thinking that New York was AJ's dad and Kailani's dad. She did a whole video of talking to this random man on the phone, on video chat. And in this next clip, you will hear Liv talking about it. But just remember, her daughter is sitting right next to her. And I believe it is her oldest daughter. Hush mouth, people are not gonna, <laughs> they're gonna make up lies. I mean, that's her gay best friend. Whatever. Y'all can say whatever the hell you want to say. That's what y'all do when it comes to me. But listen to this. My baby daddy claims his children, unlike some people. My baby daddy cares about his kids, unlike some people. Okay? And he's all the way in motherfucking New York. And he's still... He's still on it with his babies. And to the creep over there in Chicago trying to claim my son, nigga, you better find something safe to do, okay? I'm so sick of y'all motherfuckers. I really am. I love all my supporters, and when you guys watch this back, because I'm about to get off of here, because I got shit to do. When you guys watch this back, just understand, I don't play by my kids, and I don't care. I don't play by my baby daddy, okay? No, I don't. He don't play by me, and I don't play by him. Whether we're together or not together, he 
he cares about his kids and he loves his kids and he claims his kids unlike some people out here who can't get a nigga to claim her son for dear life okay so don't play with me i said what the fuck i said when it comes to me i like to show better better than talk about it because um oh look at that baby just remember, Liv's 10-year-old daughter is sitting right next to her hearing all of these lies and hearing how she talks so great about a man who's never met his child. A man who didn't even know what size clothing Kalani was in until Stella told Liv to tell him. Imagine being a 10-year-old girl hearing your mother talk about a random man that you probably have never met and how great he is as a father and talk so bad about your father who's actually in your life every single day. What do you think Robin is thinking in her mind when she has to sit next to her mom who is just saying so many lies for the internet? So in this next clip, you will see Liv and the children and this is the video of her claiming that this man from New York who loves his children claims his children. And another thing, she was going off on Jasmine in that last clip saying that Chris doesn't claim his son. But wasn't Chris in the delivery room? Now, as far as them breaking up and whatever he's doing after that, I don't know. But Chris was there. Mm -hmm. Chris was at the hospital when he was born. Now, just like I said right now, I don't know if Chris is claiming his son right now. I don't know where he is. I don't know if he still gets his son. But he was there. Legend does have his last name. What are the last names of those two youngest children, Liv? So go ahead and watch this next clip of Liv and Stella once again lying and acting like this man on the phone is AJ and Kalani's father. Kai. Hello. Hi, Dad, baby. Kalani. Tell him what size she's wearing. Oh, yeah, this is 18 months. That's fucking crazy, yo. <laughs> she's six months. Yo, she's in two-year-old fucking kid clothes mm -hmm. at six months. Yeah. Y'all hear that? He was shocked to hear the clothing size that his six-month-old daughter was wearing. But he's a present father. He claims his kids. He's in New York. Never seen this baby in person. But he is a great father, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's a little big on her, but... It's come to... All right, all right. This is ridiculous. Yo, girl. Girl, look how big you are. <laughs> girl, look how big you are. Look at her. Look at those okay, are hi. Say hi. Everybody. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, girl. Hi, Lonnie. You're so white. Look at all your sisters and brothers. We all call her a Japanese baby. Yeah, everyone thinks she looks Chinese. She looks she look like a sumo wrestler. <laughs> the people who don't know who you are, they say that my baby daddy is white or Chinese. Get the fuck out of here. No, for real. They literally say that you're a white man. You hear how he said, oh, Kailani, you're so white compared to your brothers and sisters? Now, if this man is what Liv said he is currently, He's not that much darker than her. He's Italian. What's she say? In black and white? I don't know. Why would you be surprised to see this baby sitting here? In my opinion, what would be surprising if she was as dark as her siblings? I don't know who this man is on the phone, but she clearly has got somebody that is willing to act like her baby daddy. Hi, Angel. There go my boy. Hi, baby boy. Oh, he's giving, he's giving you kiss. Okay. What is that, a kiss? Yes. <laughs> you want to kiss you, AJ? I love you, too. You want to see him? Hi, my boy. Hi. You look like somebody I know. You look like somebody I know. You miss me? Does he look bigger? Yes. Now move back. Let me see him. Look. Come here. He's getting taller. Hey, little boy, I miss him. I know, right? He's so far. Oh, man. Hey, what's well, up? Oh. And then he fell. Hi. Hi. Oh, girl. Hey, girl. You look pretty, baby mama. Thank you. How are you? 
Do y'all remember that live stream that she did on TikTok and she accidentally showed us a man that she was on the phone with? What's up with my fine ass baby mama? Hold on, sir. One second. Oh my God. Shut, Damn. Shut up. What's up with my fine ass baby mama? Hold on, sir. One second. Oh my God. Shut, Damn. Shut up. It sounds like this could be the same guy. But Liv said the man that she had this child with, Kailani, is from New York. And it just doesn't sound like this man is from New York. Let me know in the comment section. Hey. I'm okay. Hello, look. It's your dad. Hey, Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Are you at work? Hi. Yeah, unfortunately. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Kai Kai. Kai. Love you. I hate you. Love you. It's okay. Oh my god. Hi, baby. Hi. You look, you're so happy when you see your daddy. Look at you. Hi, you waving? Hi. Hi, Kai Kai. Y'all heard Stella talking about, oh, go say hi to daddy, talking to AJ. If y'all saw my latest video on Liv, you would hear Liv say that her mom is perfect. A perfect mom. This woman goes along with all of Liv's lies. What is wrong with her? I wonder how many men AJ has seen on the phone and Liv said to call him daddy. How many men has it been? But y'all have got to let me know what you think about the situation. What do you think about Liv fitting in her size 10 jeans? And why does she need to buy more size 10s if she already had size 10s? Do you think Liv put any money on her child support since it is a new month? And how can Liv sit right next to her own daughter and lie so much about how this New York baby daddy is the greatest and Gerard is the worst? I really hope those oldest three children see the truth and understand exactly what's going on. I hope they don't believe anything Liv says and maybe one day they'll really see her for who she is and not want to be anything like her. Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will definitely see you in the next one. So, everybody was trying to make fun of me and talk about, oh, I'm scared, I'm scared, blah, blah, blah. I am scared. I am. I am scared for my life at this point. I was physically, first of all, I was physically harmed yesterday because she came up on me and she pushed me. That's not okay. And she threatened my life. So I'm not gonna deal with that. For the bitches in the back, my son is not that bum's son, okay? You guys can think that, you guys can continue to say that, repeat it to your blue in the face. I don't really care. Don't care at all. I don't show him because you bitches are disrespectful. Period, point blank. If you think I'm scared of a homo bum, I'm not, okay? I, I don't care. He can come and get whatever he feels like he needs to get so I can tell him to leave me the fuck alone for the last motherfucking time. But honestly, he's been, he's over there doing his thing. I don't have no problem with him. But, um, no. Sorry, try again. I know you guys want that to be his son. I know you guys want me to be connected to that motherfucker. But I'm not. And that's okay. He's living his life. I'm living my life. So let bygones be bygones and let it, let it go. Let it go. Sorry. But it's just not what it is. You guys, like I said, I, we were talking about lies yesterday. Y'all can tell the lies all you want, but that doesn't mean the lies the truth. You guys can repeat the lies. Go ahead, say that until say that until the last day on earth. But that's not that's not the case. It's just not. I know who my baby daddy is. I know who was up in here. I know who's not. I know. Anyway, we're not even gonna get into that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even have said homo bum. <laughs> I'm not trying to start nothing, but you know, it's just not what it what you guys are trying to make it. Y'all do know this. The man himself. Yes. The man himself, Mr. Mr. Bands. <laughs> that is AJ's father. That he wants to be in AJ's life. And it's all about AJ. You know, it's all about his well-being and him having both of his parents. And that's what I've always wanted. You know, people were thinking I was ashamed. No, I was never ashamed that he was my baby daddy or nothing like that. I would never keep them out of their kid's life. 